Remember to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. Nothing. I just, dude, the CW is, I can't. Ah, it's not their fault. They're literally just so poor. They can't afford good writers. Like, bro, how the fuck is the Flash so? How the fuck is the Flash so fast in season one that he accidentally made a, a tsunami go away and he ran back in time? But fucking Captain Cold goes around a corner at ten miles an hour. Guys, I looked over the entire city. I can't find it. Like, what? oh, bro, I'm getting, I'm getting hot. I'm getting, I'm getting upset. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I just... No, I... I will leave this call right now. <laughs> Don't play with me. I... I saw season one. Oh my god! I just... What? I... <laughs> Bro, edge does not mean good. Having Robin put fucking grip pliers on someone's nutsack is not good writing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not Batman. I'm not Batman sidekick. I'm gonna bust this window open and drag your face on this shardened glass. Fuck Batman. I'm my old man. I'm Nightwing. I wear spandex. Bro, who gives this? Oh my god. I, oh my god, bro. A beast Boy only having one fucking two animals that he can use. Sure, man. Whatever. Raven. Uh, her dad being satan but like shoving that imagery in your face over and over again in season one because she couldn't act for shit i that's not even her fault as uh, she's yeah, she's young actress whatever the whole hawk and dove shit i really don't care they're both insufferable in my opinion i just i oh my all right skipper i don't know no uh, i don't think she, I, she, she she probably is i don't fucking know don't even get me started how you treated red red hood in season two man I, oh my god jason no, dude jason jason todd is such a little fucking dickhead in that show like it, he is so unreliable the thing about god you got me going on the rant again but the thing about jason todd in the comics is that he was like abrasive but like he he still had a he was still a good kid like you know what i mean like he he still wanted to do the right thing but he just had a he just had a temper on him like the in titans he's just a prick like he's just not he's not fun to be around nor wants to be around him he's just annoying and then when he got when he got killed off and they got brought back as red hood he at no point was i intimidated when he was red hood dude do you ever watch the batman under the red hood uh, animated film Ah, uh, nah oh bro that shit is fire that shit is fire front to back it's so far they had jensen ackles uh play the voice of red hood um he played soldier boy he was dean in a uh, supernatural dude oh my god that film is fantastic but anyway it's just like it you gotta check it out but anyway they had uh it, it's just like it, it, red hood was just never threatening dude and then slade i, I just uh uh I, I can't say that fucking show, man. The fucking stupid ass blue DC filter that they refuse to throw away for some reason. I just whatever, man. I just, I, de I need DC to get their shit together. I mean, they're bringing back Henry Cavill as Superman and Ben Affleck as Batman because they realize Marvel is beating the dog shit out of them. So they're like, oh, we gotta do something. But Black Adam's, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And then Black Adam's gonna fail so hard. I don't want to manif I don't want to manifest that or whatever the fuck people say now. But Black Adam looks so ass. <laughs> They need to go back to focusing on the cartoons like they were in the back in the days. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro. I, look at every shot in the Black Adam trailers. It's literally just, but Black Adam, you can be more than this. You can be better. Heroes don't kill. I'm not a hero. And just, and just the same like stoic look on his face. It like, I, uh, I just, ah, uh, like. DC sell excels when they try to tell self-contained stories when there's no like cinematic universe none of that shit like that's why the Batman was fantastic that's why Joker was fantastic Max. you know what I mean like the, do your own thing right you don't have to you know what I mean there's too much pressure when you're exactly in a cinematic universe Yes, especially on the writers, too, because they're like, well, fuck, man like I can't have the satisfying conclusion I wanted to have I gotta have I don't fucking know um uh, uh, Martha Wayne visits Arkham Penitentiary when you see uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker running around or some bullshit like that. You know what I mean? Like, just, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, also, super interesting. I heard uh, Werewolf by Night um, is fantastic. I heard that is fire. Um, it dropped on Disney+. Plus. I heard it's crazy. You hear it from though. I heard it, like I, I've been seeing like on Twitter, Reddit. It's got like a 96 on Metacritic from audience and critic scores. Apparently, that shit's crazy.
Man, I don't trust any of those, man. I, 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 I don't. Like, I, I liked the first Venom. So, and people hated the movie. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. Oh, that one. I liked it. I liked it. I didn't like the second Venom. Uh, but I actually like the first one. But no, I. it gives me, like, a general idea of what people think. Obviously, for my own opinions, that's the whole point. Um, but... Nah, man, I, I haven't heard of his fire. I gotta, I gotta go check that out. Like, it's like same thing with She Hulk. Like, people like fucking like hate She Hulk for some fucking reason. Like, nah, that's where I lost some of those people because there are some people I follow and they're like, they, they, I let's just say I agree with a lot of what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Then when they came to She Hulk, yeah, because they were tr they were rightfully trashing stories that I believe were bad. And then when it came to She Hulk, I felt like they were like, oh, it's woke, therefore it's bad. Oh, the so woke. Ah, uh... even got into it. And when I watched it, I was like, it's not even that woke. What are you guys talking about? The minute you use the word woke, I know you're bullshitting. I know I know I know you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. It's just it's 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 oh, no, it's it's that. a hot word. No, no, it's but I'm saying in the context of what is your I'm saying is in the context of what is used. When they're saying like, oh she hulk, it's woke. Why the fuck why the fuck is she saying that she can control her anger better than Bruce and Bruce dad uh, fucking uh, killed his mom? They haven't talked about that in the MCU, dickhead. Like, we don't know this. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? And she's allowed to be yeah, pissed. Bring up the dad. Bring up the dad part like that. That's not in the universe. But I do think that she's, she came off very entitled when she was raging. Because she's a person. She can feel entitled. Entitled people exist. For some reason, the characters, some of these people, they have this misconception that women need to be perfect all the time if they're in stories. But men, for some reason, are allowed to have all these character flaws and shit like that. It's fucking weird. It's like, BC's people are like, oh my god, she wants self-respect. Why does she twerk with Megan Thee Stallion? She wants self-respect. Why is she sleeping with all these men? But Tony Stark literally pissed in his suit in Iron Man 2 and was banging all these women back to back to back. People were like, oh my god, Tony, 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 oh. I just, I... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ranting again, but you know what I mean. Just, I just, oh my god, dude, the, the, ugh, it's the lack of consistency. Do I think the humor is great all the time? No, absolutely not. I would definitely not say that. Are some of the characters unlikable? Sure, yeah. I think her designer dude's a bit too unrealistic in terms of like being an asshole. You know what I mean? I think some of the dialogue can be a little cringy, sure, but I overall like it. I don't think it was bad. Same thing. With, I, I didn't even hear anything about Miss Marvel. Um. But like people were like, this isn't my daredevil. This is some bullshit. Uh, uh, he's making jokes, bro. At the end of season three of like daredevil, he's happy. He has froggy and Karen with him again. Like he, he's starting up his own. He's their law firm is like up. It's booming. He beat Wilson fucking Fisk, dude. He sent his ass to prison. He beat his ass. You know what I mean? He beat Bullseye. Well, I mean, Fisk beat Bullseye. He fucking cracked his back on some uh, WWE shit. But you know what I mean? And that's like, he's happy. You know what I mean? And people are like want Daredevil to be this massive edgelord that can't smile. And every time that he has to interact with someone, all you hear is that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Like, I just. Like, oh, my God. I'm sorry. I do. I, these people make me so angry. <laughs> this make me so irrationally angry. It becomes so divisive. That's why I don't like taking like being part of a group or being labeled part of any kind of group because then you kind of just like end up mimicking all of their opinions. Like mm -hmm. all of the people who are anti woke will say all the anti woke stuff. All the people who are woke will say all the woke stuff. But like when you have your own opinions, you have your own thought. You're not in some kind of circle. Mm -hmm. You kind of get to think the way you want to think. That's the same. That's the same reason like I stopped being part of fandoms. I used to be part of Reddit fandoms and I, I would be on there like every day. But then I started seeing like this herd mentality and I'm like, yo, this is stupid. All of you guys are just repeating the same things. Mm -hmm. You just have the same opinions. You all sound like sheep. Mm -hmm. I got you. That's why I wouldn't consider myself a f part of any fandom. I, I understand what you're saying. And it's it's hard. And, and, and it's like the whole like Star Wars fans, like being like obscenely, like obscenely, obscenely nitpicky about every single thing. Like, dude, I, I, I don't say I wouldn't consider like consider myself in the Sonic fandom. Because like I'm I'm exactly what you're saying like I don't, like I'm not a furry nothing wrong with being a furry that's your, that's your thing you do whatever like you live your life but like I'm not like make it like sh all these like weird ass ships like the My Hero Academia fandom I'm not doing all that that Midoriya X Bakugo bullshit you know what I'm saying like uh, uh, just I know I know what you're saying but you can be fans of something but you don't want to be included yes, in this fandom okay part of I, the fandom I know I know what you want to be uh I'll make content on the story but like don't expect me to just only talk about that one story don't expect me to have all the same beliefs as most of the people in that 
fandom have. Right, right. It's like you say you're a Dragon Ball fan and you want to sound like one of those dickheads in someone's comments of like an anime fight. But can he be Goku? But can he be Goku? Like, I, I know what you mean. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It's just, it's, it's interesting, man. It's, I, I don't know, man. I feel like it's only going to get worse with time, too. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, fucking hell, man. Like, when Secret Wars comes out, it's going to be a mess. Oh, my God. People are going to be... I don't even know, man. It's just... I'm not, I'm not looking forward to the... Whatever. There are going to be people who are saying, Oh, it's not exactly like the comic. I mean, I can understand that criticism, but you can also try and grade it on its own merits. What if, what if the comic was ass? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, look like Frank, like look at like Frank Miller's Batman run. There's some good stuff in there, but also Frank Miller can write some hot ass too. But look at the boys, look at the boys. The comic is one of the worst pieces of media I have ever consumed in my fucking life. Garth Ennis is a hack. I will spit this to the day I die. Garth Ennis is a terrible writer, right? Sure, he made Preacher. Who gives a shit? Sure, he made Punisher Max. Who gives a shit? The boys and fucking what's that? It's like it's like Reach, Forsaken, whatever. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's something about zombies. I forget. But it is Garth Ennis is just I can't I, I can't stand his writing. I'm sorry. Dang. <laughs> I, I'm so bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dude. It's Garth Ennis is not is is, is no. <laughs> It's just an edgy 14 year old that's like, Superman's dumb. The concept of good superheroes and good people is dumb. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be as edgy as possible and, and, and shock value. Shock, yeah, it's going to get you. It's not even like saw, like shock value. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even like gratuitous torture porn. It's literally just like, it, what, what's the, what's the vibe? What's the most, like, it's like, it, it's literally like, what is the most vile thing I can have happen to this person? Ha! This happened. Ha! Aren't you offended? Snowflake? Like, it's that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Kind of sounds like Game of Thrones. I haven't watched Game of Thrones. I don't have an opinion on it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, that's fire. Is it good? Oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear from me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm of the minority, I think. I didn't like it. Overall, I thought it was it was mediocre. Really? Actually, a little lower than mediocre. Mm. Like a bunch of people love the heck out of it. I thought it was way too slow, way too boring. I, nah, man, I could go into a whole rant on that one. Yeah, I try. I tried watching Lord of the Rings, bro. I, bro, niggas gonna get mad at me. I tried watching it's Star Wars. Boring, bro. I tried watching Star Wars, bro. I couldn't do it. I, but I love Mandalorian. I love Mandalorian though. Mandalorian is my shit. I love Mandalorian. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, what's the other show? Um, Andor. I haven't, no, I haven't watched Andor. I didn't watch Book of Boba Fett. There's another one. I forgot. I forgot. There's like something else. Those are the three. Yeah, but I think was, I, I watched a bit of Clone Wars as a kid. But just, I don't know. I, I think there's something I'm missing. I, just, I don't remember. But nah, I mean, I tried watching Star Wars movies, bro. I went to sleep. I said, nah, I can't do this. Which one? Which one? I tried watching. So I tried watching it, it uh, in the order it came out, which is uh, uh, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, four, five, six. And then I tried. The prequels first, and I just every time, like whatever, no matter what order I tried, I was just put to a fucking sleep, bro. I was, just, oh my god. Dang. I mean, I'm a, the minority with Star Wars too. I like the prequels much better than the sequel. I mean, than the originals. You better not get caught saying that kind of shit, bro. People, you, you blow up people, go that and I let you live, bro. I made a video on that one already. Oh man. <laughs> <Too late>. Oh <laughs> man. But one thing I can't do is probably make a video bashing Game of Thrones because bro everyone everyone and their mother likes yeah, that story I don't yeah, know why yeah, they, they clap your channel you do that shit dog yeah they gotta get it deleted uh huh uh huh yeah no that's that's facts that's facts oh man what were we talking about dude I don't remember what we were talking about I think like we were talking about Spike no we were talking about Spike's family then we talked to Twitter family. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. alright next next question because I, I, I we're like that was like 45 minutes ago <laughs> All right, uh, Bleach, uh, are you hyped for the new season? And what did you think of the previous story? So I, uh, so I think I, I was trying to catch up. Um, I read the manga. Um, I, I, I read the manga up until the end of the uh, substitute or the lost so substitute Soul Reaper arc, um, and then I know what I vaguely know about what happens at the end. Obviously, yeah. Ichigo. No, I, I know you know Ichigo fucking lives. Like no, no shit. Like whatever um i don't know about any other character deaths besides that um but i only thing i know is that like um your watch or yawa baha how would the fuck you say his name is like he has a uh, is it you haba is it you ha you ha you ha 
Okay, is that... Okay. Because I think in, like, Bleach Brave Souls or some shit, they, like, had, like, a, a commercial, and that's how they pronounce it, I think. I remember hearing that. If you go on the wiki and you look at the Romanji, you can see the pronunciation of the Japanese. And the Japanese, they have Yuhabaha. The people in the English, they say it's Yuhabach because the B-A-C-H is, like, Bach. Okay. It's like, composed or something like that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I know uh, some, bits and, uh, some bits and pieces. Uh... I don't, just from, like, I mean, fucking what ended, like, six, five? No, no, it was like, no, like, seven? Like, 2014? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, I, I know, I know, I know some stuff, I know some stuff. Um, I, I am hyped, though. Um, I'm excited. Uh, Bleach, you know, it suffered from, you know, the early, early 2000s Shonen, uh, you know, monthly series where the pacing was just ass. Um, animation wasn't up to par sometimes. So, I... I watched I have watched all of the canon episodes up until the end of the last uh, Shinigami arc I haven't watched any of the filler uh, episodes I, I, no, I'm i not watching the bounce shit and all that bullshit uh, yeah. but I I don't know man I, I, was, I, I have a really weird relationship with Bleach because I like it a lot in certain aspects but I also think it fails in a lot of departments, man. I, I really do. Like, Ikaku's Bankai, we only saw it one time in... Uh, Actually, we saw it twice, but yeah, I see what you're saying. It, what was the second time? The second time he got knocked out off screen while using it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, like, like he only got, like, one chance to use it. And it was against yeah. whatever fucking Iran car that was. Like, I don't even remember their names. Um... It was like the very yeah, but it was it was like yeah, yeah, it was like the very beginning, uh, before they went to Hueco Mundo. It's like where Ichigo was getting his ass beat by Grimjo. Um, yeah. But I don't know, man. Like Ichigo, like he's a cool protagonist. I like him. I do. Um, I think his character is more interesting than his abilities and fights. Personally, I'm gonna keep that shit 100 percent honest. And I said again, I said something similar. Like he, like bro, like Ichigo has nothing interesting in his kit, bro. Like he, he's at least Naruto. He got the Rasengan. He's got the Shadow Clone Jutsu. But like he used to do some crazy shit back in the day with it. You know what I mean? Even even like now, like you look at what kind of shit he's doing. Um, but like bro, he just has. Gets a Gaten show and Inshallah, and that, that's about it. Like it's just, I mean, I he, he, yeah, what? And Inshallah, or just like you know, like you know, uh, fucking like may God be with you or whatever. Like you know, you know what I mean? Like, like that's it, bro. Like it's, like he's got plot armor like a bitch. Like it's crazy, dude. When Eisen like sliced his ass in half and he was still alive, I'm like, what the hell are we doing here? Anyway, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. when, when was that? So I didn't know he. Okay, so the check this out. Of the Soul Society. Yeah, the end of the Soul Society. I didn't because I watched the anime first, and I was like, well, I was like, Eisen grabbed his sword, and he just like, like just like got cut. Like I didn't see what happened. Did blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know where he got cut. It, I didn't know in the manga he literally sliced him in half. Like he was like he was like held together by his uh, spine or whatever. Really? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, he was like he like cut him and like but didn't cut his spine, and that's the only reason like because he couldn't move. And I was like, oh shit. And then like he uh. Uh, Hiori, is it Hiori? Hinamori? No, Hiori. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, oh, Hiori. Yeah. Hiori, yeah, she got, she got, yeah, fucking bisected by Gein. Uh, uh, Rengo, no, I almost said Rengoku, Jesus Christ. Uh, Rangiku, um, when that big ass thing, like, took a chunk out of her between his fingertips and was, like, I, mushing that shit. Yeah. I was like, whoa, like, in the manga, I was like, whoa. But in the anime, I'm just like, this is a fat bruise. Like, what am I looking at? Like, I had, like, the Dragon Ball, like, scratches. You know what I mean? I was just like, okay. Um, or even, like, when, like, uh, Ichigo, when he was fighting uh, Okiora, he, like, takes his arm off and throws it at him in the manga. Like, he just... I don't even... I don't even he, no, he threw, a, he threw a boulder at him, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like, threw, like, a boulder, like, a big-ass rock at him or something. But, like, I think I think those censorship issues will be fixed, because from what I've seen from uh, the stills, like, they're not holding back on the gore at all, which is fine with me. Um... I like, I like this is the most gory arc. Yeah, I, I, here's the thing. I'm, I'm a sucker for that kind of shit. I love seeing that raw shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but you know, obviously, there's, there's, there's a certain limit. Um, but for, before it comes like gratuitous, like on some like Goblin Slayer shit. Um, but no, man, I, I, I love, wait, hold on, hold on. Just a side tangent. What did you think of Goblin Slayer episode one? Bro, don't. I watched the first episode, tried watching the second episode when Homegirl was waking up butt ass naked in bed. I just, I couldn't take it. So I just stopped watching it. 
bro. Episode one was hilarious for me. You're tripping. What the hell, <laughs> bro? Hell no. Hell no. 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 Nah, nah, bro. I'm like, oh, it's a it's an RPG. I, I thought it was an isekai for a second. And I, it, it, hold on, is it is it an isekai? It feels like an isekai. Okay, it's not. It's like a Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, it's an RPG. It's on some you know uh, SAO type shit, whatever. It was like, oh, that's, that's tight. And then they start getting jumped one by one. I'm like, oh, that was hilarious. I'm like, oh, that's what type of this. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, country roll, y'all allow this first episode. But they never, they never went up to that scale again. I, 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 I think you're lying to me. <laughs> no, I mean, I watched like maybe six episodes and they never went and they would never went that hard anymore. I was like, bro, I wanted to see more action like this, more funny people messing up and getting killed because they messed up. I guess I, 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 I see it. I see it. Um, what, it's like that, uh, that one anime it, it's from like years ago. Was it like another or some shit or there's like some like curse? Oh, I've heard of that. It's like some curse. It's like Final Destination or some shit. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called another. Yeah. 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 Um, I gotta watch Elf. Not is it Elf and Lie? That's what. That's what it's called. I gotta. I gotta watch that. Pink haired girl. Yeah, I gotta watch that. I haven't seen it. I've heard it. That's, all, that's all I know about it. Yeah. Question for you: What is your opinion on Cowboy Bebop? I think it's. I enjoyed it, but I do think it's overrated. I think people say things like, "Oh, it's." it's making a new genre or oh it covers multiple genres i'm like bro just having one episode based on like horror or one episode based on something else that does not tripping balls on mushrooms genres mm -hmm. yeah like like if you if you were gonna say that having one episode on a specific genre means that the entire story is multi-genre then like community would be multi-genre but like no one's saying that it i so i like i like samurai champloo uh better than it i will say that i do as well um I, I the episodic formula for me fails with Cowboy Bebop because the overall story at the very end is so ass. Really? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't the whole thing with it was a Virgil is his name? Uh uh what's it? Vicious, nah, vicious. Vi yeah, 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 yeah. With like Vicious and Spike's girl and it's like a cyborg and oh, it's like fucking did did Spike die at the very end? All that shit, and I that that didn't do it for me. It, I was very, I was very whelmed. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, okay. Did you get that from Young Justice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, all right. Um, the fight choreography, the animation is top notch though. That shit is gorgeous. And that, that was made like what twenty? What was that? Was it twenty four or twenty five years ago? No, 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 no. I was twenty. No, no. I was no. It was twenty three. Cause I, I was no. Cause it was ninety eight. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that shit is so gorgeous. The episodic formula is like very hit or miss. Like if you go hard every single episode, then you've got like a masterpiece on your hands. But mm. Cowboy Bebop had a lot of forgettable episodes. Like I plan on making a video one day. I'm gonna go through all of the episodes and like say which ones I enjoyed, which ones I thought were like meh, and which ones I disliked. And like when I look at that, I see that Cowboy Bebop. Or if I graded it based on just simply how much I enjoyed each episode, Cowboy Bebop would not be that high because mm -hmm. I feel like there was something someone in my comments said they said it was that people remember the end and they remember the peaks and they have a bias towards that and they just forget all the valleys yeah the thing was called but yeah I feel like that's what happens with a lot of these episodic anime and people just remember all the high points they remember spike versus vicious they remember the epic animation but then they like forget all the boring mediocre episodes and I'm like you gotta include that when you're grading the story so I, I mean mm -hmm. I still really like it but I just think that the discourse around it is very lame. It's very short-sighted. They don't remember the entire story. Yeah, people say it's like goat status, and I mean, I if you if it's in, if it's your personal favorite, sure, I'm not gonna argue with that. You like what you like, but yeah, I don't I don't know it. I think Avatar: The Last Airbender uh, handled the episodic formula better, in my personal opinion. Maybe I'd have to rewatch Avatar. But I've been I think that show's slightly overrated as well. In what aspect? Uh, I feel like if you look at again, if you look at every single episode and like you give the score, you give if I were to look at every single episode and I were to give every single episode like a score out of ten, and then I take the average, I don't think Avatar would be that great. I would say that one of Avatar's uh, biggest flexes is its consistency. Um, I really don't remember there being like any moments like bad animation. I mean, they had that Nickelodeon budget. They were just throwing money at that shit. Um, but 
I mean, there were some sleeper episodes. There was a, uh, there was one in like season one where like Aang went to like some like air temple and like uh, the Fire Nation was fucking like taking over it or some shit, and, um, or like the uh, like the Great Divide or something. Like season one had a couple of snoozers. I will I will admit, or, like the Fortune Teller episode. But like season two and three, that was not non stop fire. I, I will say, um, season three there were a couple, um, kind of one offs like the the uh, not the beach. No, I did like the beach. Um, for like you know Zuko and Zula and uh, uh, Ty Lee and May, they were all kind of like hanging out, like being kids or whatever like that. But I think it was also kind of interesting to see the like Ozu like seeing a, it. That was interesting to see like Azula is like she's just not a normal like uh, person. Like it's a psychopath. Exactly, exactly. Like, like it because like, war literally made her that way. And, like and I think it kind of like that that point is exacerbated like when you see her at the end of uh season three when she got to beat uh by katara and she's just like bra- she has this break i mean she had a breakdown when she like had the fucking let the you know the the norman osborne the hot osborne like when she like throws the uh, the uh brush at the uh mirror when she sees her mom yeah yeah, yeah. when she had like, her whole green goblin moment with her mom like we see her like <laughs> fully break down you know what i mean uh, yeah, yeah, and then like you know, she just starts like crying and, and all this. Shit. You, you feel bad because you realize, damn, boy, like, she she didn't really have a chance. I I felt I felt bad. I felt bad. I'm just like shit, man. Like she was born right into this really god awful family. I mean, her brother got banished. Her mom killed her grandfather. Yeah, her mom killed her grandfather. Or no, yeah, yeah, killed her grandfather. Um, Wait, what? Yeah. So oh so yeah oh yeah yeah so. I didn't catch this when I was a kid. No, no, no. This is, this is in the show. I didn't catch this when I was a kid. So the reason that uh, Zuko's mom left is because uh, Fire Lord is it Zulon? Whatever. Uh, no, no, no. Fire Lord Sozin. No, whatever. I think it was Azula's grandfather. It was, it was, it was Azula's grandfather, whatever. Ozai's father. Ozai's father. I forget which one is this. Um, I think it's Sozin. Sozin? He, yeah, yeah. I think, I, yeah, I think it's Sozin, because Zulan is her great grandfather. Um, Fire Lord Sozin, he was like, hey, he was like, he, I, I was like, fucked something up. And he was like, hey, I'm going to need some penance. Either you give me one of your children's lives, or I'm clapping to both of y'all. Or some, it was some shit like that. And so Zuko's mom was like, uh, you're smoking nut. And so he was like, and Zuko's mom was like, okay. He's like, all right, bye, Zuko. I love you, whatever. Dipped. Dipped straight out. They found Sozin dead the next day. And it was like, oh. So, like, it got, it got put off because it was like, you know, matter of fact, let me look that up real quick. But, yeah, no, uh, this was in the show, but they never said that she killed him. They never used that word. And they never, basically, it was just like, oh, grandfather passed away in his sleep last night. And you didn't really catch it because you're like, oh, well, she, his Zuko's mom left. That sucks. Oh, damn. His grandfather died in sleep. That sucks. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? So let me see. Uh, uh, Zuko's mom killed. It, it, it was a Zulon. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Um, what happened to Zuko's mom? She was banished because she uh, poisoned Fire Lord Azulon, which led to his death in order to save Zuko from being killed by Ozai because Azulon ordered Ozai to kill Zuko because Ozai asked Azulon to revoke Iroh's birthright as Fire Lord right after the death of his son as punishment. Okay. So, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, I, um, so Ozai was like, hey, she's like, Iroh, my brother or whatever, he can't be Fire Lord. How about you make me? And then um, Azulon was like, you would... He, I think it was like you dare would, um, you dare would intrude on Iro or something like that. How about yeah? Because he was like, how about you feel the uh, pain of losing a son? How about that? And yep, because that's what he said, and that's why, yeah, that's because he told Ozai, he told Ozai that, and then Ozai found out uh, or told Zuko's mom whatever the fuck, and then Zuko, uh, Zuko's mom was like, nah, that's not gonna happen. But yeah, they never, they just never outright said that. Yes, this is in the it's in the show. Go back and watch it. That's exactly what happened. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you the clip, but yeah. Um mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't catch it until later on, like doing a rewatch. Um speaking of which, dude, Cora uh Cora's uh actually really good. Season two, uh her character pisses me off a lot, but uh no, uh Cora's uh great too. Ooh, I don't know about all that one. I like it. I like it. I like Cora. Um I think Bolin, I could do without Bolin. <laughs> I could do without some of the romance bullshit. Um, I could do without the entire story. How do you feel about Zaheer as a villain? 
I think he was interesting. I mean, people have brought up like complexity. Some people say that he's good. Some people say that he's bad. I need to actually rewatch it. But when I when I watched it the first time, I did enjoy him. I, I, I he's interesting to me because like on one hand, like he's not a tip like stereotypical like villain who is a master of this martial art. Like he's low key a coward. Like he had to jump Tenzin in order to beat him, and Tenzin was like whooping his ass beforehand. Um, like. I like it's interesting to see like he was so like, he's such a crazy martial artist they had his ass locked up and he studied airbending and then he got airbending and he was like a fucking problem then he's like he he taught himself how to like levitate like fly like shit fly not like glide like Aang does or like propel himself like he was like he was yeah, straight up floating fly. yeah he was like he was straight up floating like that shit was crazy um that was cool yeah, I see Avatar um, Juan. I love that. I love I love Stephen uh, Young as a voice actor. I think he does a fantastic job. Avatar Juan. I love the the art style with that story and everything. Um, seeing Korra kind of having to deal with her trauma in uh, season four, I think was interesting. There's a lot of good stuff. There there are some low points. I will admit, like I said, Bolin. I think it's, it's consistently the weakest part of the story. Um, I just. I, I, I think it's better than some people give, give credit for. I don't like the Asami uh, Korra ship at the end of the series, though. It just felt really weird to me. It felt really out of place. I don't I don't give a flying fuck that it's Asami and Korra. I could care less. I, it's the fact that they had nearly zero chemistry. They dated the same guy multiple times over. And I'm like, uh, when, did he, when did they ever have romantic chemistry like this? What the fuck is going on? Over. I'm saying, like, they both, like, dated Mako. And it was like, oh, Mako, I can't do this. And... Eh. Yeah, that that teenage drama was too. It was. Eh. It was too much. It was it too much. Done well, Harry Potter did it better. It, it, I agree. I agree. It, it was not. It was not done well. I agree. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.